Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're starting a new let's play of Darkwood. Uh, Darkwood is a game I've had for a while. Uh, the last time I played it was in about 2018, so it's been a while. There's been a lot of people who've played it over the years, obviously, because it was quite popular. But the one I actually found out about it from ended up deleting their channel, which is a shame, so I can't mention it. <laughs> Apart from all that, you'll probably have noticed it's been a while since I uploaded. Mostly it's just because I had that last little bit of university work to finish off, and also because of having to stay up late nights finishing it, and having a messed up sleep schedule so I couldn't find time to record. But I have time to record now, and I should do for a fair while. So that should be fine. Um, other than that, is the fact that I think I mentioned in a previous video, but if you didn't watch that video you won't know, I'm changing my format a little bit. These Let's Play videos will be a bit shorter, but if that's something that is like, oh no, it's probably not, but if it is, it's alright, I'm gonna be doing basically three in a row. Three in a row of shorter videos so it's easier to get through when actually watching it. My other videos will still be fairly long just because they work better that way but my let's play videos will be about 20 minutes each if I can do it that's mostly what matters to me but obviously you'll notice it so I'll mention it because that's important to me with all that out of the way this game itself a description in case you don't know about it yet which you likely know but you might not basically it's sort of it's a horror game which you could probably tell just by looking at it but the actual format of it is it's top down, something similar to Hotline Miami, but obviously, you know, a horror version. Um, and you've got only a limited cone of view that you can see through. In terms of the actual setting and story, um, the actual setting is it's like, I think, a Slavic country during Cold War era. I think it's that sort of time period, so you have a lot of like, uh, because it's Slavic, there'll be a lot of Russian military stuff going on. Um, but that's not something that's hugely like overt, it's just sort of where it's set, so it's not a huge part of the story. The actual story you'll get into, there's no huge point in spoiling a huge amount of it, especially when most of that's going to be revealed during the intro of the game, so we'll get to that pretty um soon but the sort of overall gist of the actual things that happen in the game that set it up is that there's this dark strange forest that's unnaturally been growing within this area of again i think it's poland i'm not sure yeah there's an unnaturally fast growing forest which has quickly sort of trapped everyone who lived there in this sort of small location and it has a strange effect on people and animals, mutating them physically and mentally, so it's spooky for that reason, but for the rest of it, uh, we will be seeing that as we go along with the actual game itself. So without further ado, I think I'll start, you can see here once I play, I have my profile here already, again, I haven't played since 2018, so. Uh, I'll, I'll be as fresh as I probably can be, having played, played it previously. Um, but we'll start a new one. I'll go normal difficulty, there's no point in being a gamer. And um, there's no easy mode because... Hard game, hard game. Yeah. No. I'm not going to skip the prologue because of story. And I'll turn off Indiegogo content just the word immersion yes uh, and I think that will be that prologue I see hatred and fear in their eyes I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I 
to the source of all this misery plaguing this land. American now. Pill. Pill moment. A homemade device for producing moonshine. I don't I don't know about the the old English accent I used, but I have um two accent Andy. The only edible thing growing on this land, I still have some left. Potatoes. I thought that was like mushrooms going out the floor. There's potatoes sitting on the ground, flies over it. Should probably put them some. Generator's almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. My old Zenit camera. It is in fact an old Zenit camera. My old useless medical bag. There's no... Well, I'll put it in my inventory. A photo. Me when I eat your mom. I'll put the medical back. Cage. Cages. This time, they're empty. <gasps> what about the other times? My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. Local patients can't be helped anyway. Is that like they can't be helped so I don't use them, or they can't be helped so... There's no point in sterilizing them. What's that sound? I'd rather not opening it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. What? The lock was jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. So, white and then black. Cannot and then can't. I've just woken up from the desk, it seems. Radio Unitra. The radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I hear can, can, like, I can hear voices to the static. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Wardrobe, some alcohol, board, matchstick. My medical book. I suppose this must not have been any help. I'll open the front door to my house with this. I best not enter this room right now. What's in there then? Is there a patient there? Hmm? Spooky. Onwards we go. Once I'm finished poking around on my desk. Oh, yes. If the cursor has a plus icon next to it, you can hold left mouse button to open the selected object's action menu. Use key. Very nice. I feel like I forget forgot to take something with me. Well. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Oh, oh, oh no! Well, let me go back and grab whatever it was. Can I just... yeah, shift click. That works. Okay. Well, my dog... ...can just sit there in abject pain and horror. It used to be a luxury, but since all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. So, how did it sink into the fucking ground? The People's Tribune. Daily newspaper of the Polish People's Republic. Well, Poland. 
That's something. Although he might have just visited there in the car, but yeah. Wood blocks. Take those, I suppose. I'll do a little bit of exploring, but I'll probably cut this out. For space to vault over obstacles like fences or windows. I've done it. I've done the thing. That's so what we're looking for the tractor. And I found... Oh, an axe. Yes, I found an axe. Yes, click and then unclick. Don't just drag things. I've used my pills. Your lungs are more efficient. Oh, I can run for further without getting tired. Um. Anyway, so we were just going up, off to um, get that tractor, yeah. With a weapon selected in your hotbar, hold right mouse button to take aim, then press left mouse button mouse button while aiming to attack. Well, I know how to do that. Um, don't ask why. The trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Examine. Snare traps. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. This one's already snapped shut. You can pick up and take... I think just a bit of... scrap metal. Yeah. A dead cow. Bone. Boner. Oh, I'll give that to my dog. Right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, press left shift to run. Don't tell me that right now, because you'll make me think there's a reason for it. I found a path. Oh, a map. Your position on the map is not marked. When you discover a new location, it will be added to your map. The location you are currently in is indicated in red. In order to not, in order not to get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position relative to the discovered locations and landmarks. Very nice. To access your map, press M. Yes, I did that. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. I think that was referring to when I was up there. Fallen tree? That's down here. I'll do a little less exploring because I'm starting to run low on, on time here. Some stuff in general. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's just some leaves up ahead. Press tab to access your infantry and the crafting menu. Plank, cloth, alcohol, and match. Seems good enough. Put that on me with two. Hmm. I'm looking at the map too much. An abandoned house. Okay, that's this here. bread. And I get lungs again. That's how this game works. You don't eat food for survival or hunger or health. You eat it to sustain your lungs. Ah, this way of course. Whoa. In a few days it'll be completely absorbed. Oh. Uh, Peekaboo. <laughs> Is that... I don't think those are your legs. They're mine! Give them back! Alright. <laughs> and again. Who the fuck... Is that me who done this? I am the doctor. Ugh. <gasps> A strange fellow. I think I'll ignore him. <laughs> I'm just doing this out of curiosity, because I've noticed no one's ever actually just gone around him. Too bad there's nothing around here. Well, in that case, 
There's no further ado. I think this one is still breathing. <gasps> oi, oi, oi. If there's an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. 21. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. But that... this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how and I will let you go. Sometimes I hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. the exit. Where? Show me where. Oh no! I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. to a small cell or I don't know maybe the pantry a lockpick I don't have any lockpicks can I make one I need some funny wire clothes yes I'm hurt I could use these rags to grab some bandages and heal myself nice hmm. and I can make a lockpick is too strong to dismantle. Unlocked. Got a flashlight. And a shovel. Heavy by as good reach. Come on. strapped down, but nothing strapped down there anymore. Gasoline. And a table like It's made of oak. I can use it as a weapon. Well, if you say so. mouth is wide open, and I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. Turn on the generator. 
turn on the generator. Hmm. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Where's all this blood going? Uh, where is, is it? Oh, the generator's still there. To refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank. Hover your cursor over the generator. Hold right mouse button, followed by left mouse button, to pour the gasoline. <laughs> gasoline sound. See, if you thought my voice impressions were good enough, then uh, you ought to be impressed by my gasoline sound effects. He's not saying turn in general anymore. He's saying ellipsis. Four, eight, nine, two. Okay. I bet I'd better not leave the house at night, it's safer here. Four eight nine two. Okay. Oh, well it's for here. Eight nine two. Who's there? Please let me out! Three voice Andy. Come on, open the door. Oh, yeah, I have to press. The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force on it. Right. Help me. Come closer. No, that doesn't seem right. Just now, huh? Strange locale. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar sense. Scent. It's the smell of the protective substance which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. When I arrived here a couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Arrived here a couple days ago, have I been a couple days already then? Uh, look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of reach of the protective substance after nightfall. 
results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. The fuck are they, they're putting like fucking like... Spits of fucking goo foliage in there. Warning, even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. The pot. A small, empty, cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Cook. Dose. I'm gonna dose myself up with the funny mushrooms. Alright, um... I guess let's look around whilst it's in here. Search, yes. A photo of the road. The road home. Hmm. Strange. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the others. Like this one. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a worry though. But I think... I can jiggity drag. This motherfucker in the way. Let's look around the rest of the house. Lamp. Bed. What does this do? A bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. Um, I'll leave that there. Screw it. Mushroom book. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. We're getting fucking, getting fucking, uh, absolutely mashed up, fellow. Why can I hear mushrooms? There they are. Large mushrooms. Got it. Well, here's what I was fucking ranting and raving about before. Let's see if I can... There we go, 10 of 50. Four more, and then I'll be there. Uh, what do I need to barricade? Three planks. And seven screws. Well, looks like I'll be needing more, more both of them for getting the whole of this house done. And I'll probably need a weapon as well. Here's the generator for at night. The generator is half empty. Well, it's a, actually mostly empty. Contains enough gasoline for m one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. The what? Oh. Well, there you go then. Um, oh, and a corpse. A rag, a torch, and a matchstick. Well... Cheers. What else is there? Container. But it's locked with a code. A saw. Convert wood logs to planks. Oh, okay. And a well. Doesn't sound like a very healthy well. I'd need four planks to build it up. Nothing in there. Well, that's everything in the house. Um, so I suppose it's time to go exploring outside, but for now, it's been long enough that I think I'll end that episode there. So we, we started off, um, you know, let me just do that because I'm a little worried about, um, words, words, come on, words, about time running out. I don't know if it's actually going past yet. Um, but yeah, we, we started off we were, first of all, we were playing as the Doctor, um, doing whatever the hell he was doing, talking about the horrible plague in the forest, and we came across me, now, lying in the forest, and we, we apparently had some accident that led us to lying down there in the middle of a swamp. Never found that tractor, actually, that was supposed to have fuel, but whatever. Um, we managed to escape. There's the guy with dials for eyes. That was, that was a... A real highlight, I think. 
um, and then we died and the funny fellow with gloved hand um, held gloved hand out towards us and I assume saved us um, and then it's been a couple of days apparently um, and that's about that uh, I guess next time we're gonna go down to that house above the underground entrance whatever the underground entrance is supposed to be and why it's already marked on the map I suppose we'll find out that next as well um, but for now the video has come to an end so if you like the video give it a like if you want to see more videos then subscribe and other than that i suppose i'll see you in the next video that i see you in see ya